So, Tom, it's been a number of years since we've been out here at No Label. Since um, like 2017. It, it was Justin. quite a while. Well, you've been, you, you been out, yeah, yeah, you've been back. Yeah, but anyway, it's just amazing to see the transformation that's happened here over the years. Um, as you said a second ago, it's been night and day. Tell us about kind of where things were and where things are now and that roller coaster process it's been. You know, when we first took over uh, this place, we have a mutual friend, John Denman from ESPN and XYZ. He came out here and he was like, hey, I want to support you guys. You try to take a picture. And he was like, there's only one sign here. It's like, where, how do I tell people that we're at No Label? So one of the things that we did was put art everywhere. So you go anywhere across this brewery, there's murals on the ground, there's a rail line, like label walls. We have art that, that literally decks the walls. And then, of course, we have merch like, like none other. Like We really believe in basically emboldening the brand. So every beer needs to have an identity and a life, and, like, and the beers do. And the beers are also great and award-winning, which is also something that we really went into the competitive, we need to chase awards. Like we, need a, we know our beer is good, but we need to get those accolades that, that, let, that let people know. It's like, right. oh, I need to go and try that. Yeah, to get that word out. And now we have literally like an award wall with, with 16 awards. Another like six are on their way. And then, uh, and then we got 20 marketing awards for all the stuff that we've been doing in the last few years from the pandemic related causes to just beer labels themselves. It's no label then and no label now. I mean, it's just, it's just good made better. It's, it's, it's been a fun ride and it's not over yet. <laughs> if someone has never come here before, we always have new people that come into to the greater Houston area, especially to Katy. A lot of folks moving out to Katy that may not know that No Label is here. Describe to someone that's never been here before, what is No Label Brewing? So No Label Brewing, we're, we're in the heart of Katy. We're in between two historic rice silos. This is the rice silo district, like as it were. So there's nothing quite like it. We're talking about like nearly 20,000 square feet of open space, but like space that like, like on a, on a Saturday, on a Friday, it's, it's live music. We have a playground, we're family friendly, we're dog friendly. Like the place is filled with life. Like we host two markets a month. So it's vendors everywhere, murals on the ground, art surrounding you. I mean, no label is all about vibes, good vibes. And, and you, you get it the second like you walk in here. Like it's just like it's like you feel like you're in a good place. You feel like you're at like a family picnic. Um, like that, a family backyard barbecue base. Yeah, basically, basically. All right. In the past few years, all these accolades, all these wins, like they are nothing without our fantastic team. Like this is a house, and like the people in the house that maintain the house, like like those are the real rock stars. So from our GM to our sales manager, our head brewer, our tap like our, like our taproom manager, like it takes a, a village like like to get here. And luckily, we are so blessed to be surrounded by all stars and also just the community, the city of Katy. Like these guys who we rally behind, behind them, they rally behind us. Like Katy is kind of what makes this brewery, and and this team is what makes this brewery, and we're just blessed. No label, not just here at the brewery, but is available all throughout the greater Houston area. Talk about the, kind of that process that started from just tap room only to now people can find it in their grocery stores, they can find it at, at uh, liquor stores, anywhere. We have great partners with, with HEB and Total Wine, just like all throughout Houston, you can grab our beer. All throughout Texas, you can grab our beer. Like, like we, have, we have a big presence in, in Dallas, Austin's coming up like all the time. And, you know, we're also making moves. We're trying to get our beer to Mexico, like, like, like right now. We're also trying to get our beer to Louisiana and Arkansas. Like, uh, we're definitely, it's not just Houston. It's not just Texas. It, like, it's broader than that. Like, we have, a, with all those international accolades, we have a lot of people wanting to get their hands on our beer. And we're doing our best job to trying to get our beer into their hands. Like, if you're buying, we're selling. And, uh, Selling good. I was going to say, it's good stuff. Delicious. <laughs> All right, Randy, so uh, this is the first, so this is the El Jefe. This is our flagship beer. This is what, uh, you know, uh, pays the bills. This is what's been, uh, what's put us on the map uh, here in Texas and Katy specifically. Uh, you know, it's been with us since the very start. And it's one uh, of the OG beers here. OG right here. This uh, this Hefeweizen has uh, 
wonderful notes of uh, banana and clove. It's super easy drinking and refreshing, uh, and we're we're proud to call it our our, our main brew here. I can the, smell the banana. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's good. Now, with the wheat beers in particular, there's always sort of that similar finish that you get in a wheat beer. What is that? What, what am I tasting? So that's going to come from the yeast. Uh, so though all those qualities are coming, are, you're picking it up from the yeast, and that's what kind of brightens it up, and that's what gives it those characteristics that uh, makes it stand out amongst other styles of beer. Mm -hmm. So if somebody comes in and they say, and I know I, I, when I poured with you guys years ago mm -hmm. at uh, Christmas in July in Katy, right. I can't tell you how many times I had someone come up to me and they say, I don't like beer. And my first thought is, well, you're standing in the wrong place. But two, <laughs> I would say, okay, well, if you do have beer, what do you like? And they always say, and I'm sure you guys get this hundreds of times here at the tap room, what do you have that's light? Yeah. Right. Absolutely. How would you how would you describe this to someone that maybe isn't familiar with beer? Why this is something they should choose? So yeah, we definitely try to uh, find something that they can relate to, something they're used to seeing, especially uh, you know a bigger beer like a Blue Moon or something like that. So uh, you know, once they hear that kind of stuff, and then we try to correlate our our beer, how we make it, uh, the characteristics that it gives off, in order to like entice them and make them feel comfortable with drinking a, a great quality craft beer like this. Um, and this is yep. available uh, year, round year round in the grocery store. Absolutely. You can find it at HEB, Kroger, Total Wine, Specs, all across the state. Pick it up. Yep, Good absolutely. Mm. It's delicious. Thank you. Okay, so so Randy, this is the Cali Boy. Yes. This is sort of your flagship IPA. This is our, this is our uh, award-winning World Cup silver medal winning West Coast IPA. This is one of my favorites of the brewery that I've had since it opened up. I think it's Thank spectacular. You. Yeah. Uh, tell us about this beer in particular. So uh, our West Coast IPA is uh, a mix of three different blends of hops, Amarillo, Citra, and Mosaic. So all those hops are going to give you some fantastic floral notes, but they're all a little bit different than one another. So you're going to get qualities of grapefruit and orange. You're going to get qualities of lemon, berries, and that's part of what makes this California West Coast IPA is such an amazing beer. And IPAs in particular have had quite a journey over the last 10 years or so. Absolutely. Uh, as you mentioned, this is a West Coast style IPA. Yep. Very similar to what you'd see if you were out in Washington, Oregon, California, this and that. You guys also have a number of, of uh, New England IPAs. Yes. They're a little hazier. Tell us about the difference in that. So the difference is uh, when you're enjoying a West Coast IPA, you're going to get notes it's piney, it's resiny, it's, you know, you're, that, that hops is going to, a big bang that in your face. That pine cone taste yep. and smell. Uh, absolutely. And then a, a, a New England IPA is going to be more juicy, more citrus forward. Uh, it's going to be hazy and uh, it's going to have different qualities. It's going to re really focus more on, on uh, subtle uh, lemon and, and citrus notes like that. Do you feel like that New England, the hazy IPAs are a good... Um, stepping in point to the IPA pool for people that maybe have never tried them? Uh, yeah, it, it's definitely a good idea to, to start there because it's it's there's less bitterness involved. Um, so it's kind of like a good intro. And then uh, as you get used to that, and then you try other styles like a West Coast IPA. Maybe get your palate sensitized to Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, this one in particular, uh, this is the Hard Hat and Six Packs. Uh, yes. You guys are really proud of this beer, right? Absolutely. So we won uh, silver for the New York Internet. Sorry, cut. It's we okay. won gold. Yeah. <laughs> do, it, do it again. Ready? Okay, ready. All right, here we go. Take two. Right. Yeah, so we won a gold for the New York International for hard hats and six packs. Uh, it's one of our favorite newest beers, and it's also going to be launched into the market as a year round next year. And this is a lager. So, what's the difference between a lager and a wheat beer? So, this is a rice lager. Uh, what makes it really easy drinking and, uh, and kind of widely appealing to the masses is uh, like the notes, like with a Hefeweizen, you got strong banana and clove. This is more subtle, this is more easy drinking, this is more relatable, uh, like a classic, you know, Bud or, or Miller. So this could be a good introduction for folks that maybe do drink uh, a Coors Light, a Bud Light, a Miller Light, or something like that, to kind Absolutely. of slide on into. Yes, into it's a good beer. way for them to kind of ease in, especially if they've never been out here, or if they've never been introduced to craft beer in general. It's something uh, that's, you know, they can kind of relate to and uh, not be, uh, overwhelmed by. And what's the ABV on this? This one is 4.5%. Uh, so an easy drinker as well? Yes. Okay. Right. 
Oh yeah. It's good. It hits the that's spot. Really good. It does. Especially with uh, all this heat that's been killing us. Yep. That's why I was just. You need something like this to hit the spot. I was just gonna say this is definitely something that, as hot as it is in the summertime, I feel like this is a good beer that you can have a you can crush a couple of these and you're not sleeping on the couch. Absolutely. For the next thirty minutes. After yeah, that. you're still able to enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Amen. Okay. Randy, you changed. Hold on, I'm start over again. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say keep that. I'll put that in. I'll put that in the other one. Hold on. Okay. So stupid. <laughs> I had to do it. <laughs> okay, you ready? I'm ready. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay. All right, Tom, you're back with us here. Uh, this is. I'm back for a very specific reason. I know. Yeah. Tell us the very specific reason this beautiful, award-winning, golden beer so, I see here. So this is El Carlito. Okay. So when we when we took over the brewery years ago and we started turning things around like we started getting a lot of marketing accolades but well, what good what good is our marketing accolades if the beer isn't good too so this is the first beer under our kind of change that like it won a 2021 US bronze in the US Open like mm -hmm. and then six months later we did a new batch and it won a bronze at the Texas Craft Brewers Cup wow and then and then this year like it went on to win a bronze at the New York International, followed by it, it won a silver in Fredericksburg, and then a month ago, two international beer competitions released results the same day. It won a silver in Australia. It won a silver at the U.S. Open. Ooh. This is our most award-winning, most consistent beer. It is uh, the head brewer at uh, Vince over at Brash. He was over here, and we're drinking some. He just takes a sip. He's like, well, Tom, there's a reason it's winning all these awards, because oh. the beer is good. That is really good. <laughs> it is our Weizenbach. It is uh, interest. It's uh, essentially think of like uh, a Hefeweizen on steroids, and and that's what you get here. But it is uh, at 8.3 percent. It'll you don't feel the ABV coming. No. No, it's very in this weather. Like, this is very drinkable. Which you're responsible for. I am responsible for. The uh, li like like this beer will go down easy. But it is, uh, this is the pride and joy of the brewery. This is what No Label is about. So this is the Bugatti of beer here. I, I think so. Let's try it. I feel like a millionaire. Me too, except not. <laughs> That's so good. Okay, all right, let's do a flavor profile. Okay. Okay, Tom. So this is the award-winning El Carlito. Uh, you said this is a, this is this is a Weizenbach. Yeah. That sounds like a Frankenstein mash together of things. What's what's in this beer? What am I what am I what am I tasting? What am I smelling? Here? I'll tell you. Brandy. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I see. Cloves. Mr. Professional. Banana. For for for, for, for Houston life. <laughs> States comes around and all of a sudden it's like the uh, no I, Brothers, huh? I was not <laughs> no I was not professional in Houston life uh, they don't watch they, they asked me about this glass I was like this is a fancy IPA glass perfect which technically when people will go yeah sounds right it looks like a very pretentious IPA yeah, glass I love the, it. Um, okay all right um, all right here we go Beep. okay so this the El Carlito award-winning beer uh, Weissenbach you guys are so happy about this beer. Tell me about what, what, what will people taste when they come here and get this? If you love El Jefe, everything Randy said before, think about that, times two, it's a bomb. It's like, but as, as, as you would think, a Jefe would be bready. This isn't really bready at all. This I was is, just going to say this it's is, very This clean. is very like, like easy drinking. It is the result of this man. Ryan Trailer, he's the Cali boy himself. This man makes delicious beer. This is one of them. Find it, drink it. Cheers. Enjoy it. Gum. It's, it's kind of bullshit my way through that last part. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. We're definitely keeping that in. 